In this video, we're going to be talking about GMO, genetically modified organisms, and whether or not you should eat them, whether or not you need to worry about this, and, uh, and whatnot. I'm John from BulldogMindset.com. On this channel, I teach you how to be a man. I teach you how to build financial independence, get the physique that you want, get the girls that you want, go from the victim mindset to the bulldog mindset. Click that subscribe button if you want to join us on your quest, on our quest, on everyone's quest to become a bulldog. Hey John, what's your opinion on GMO and consuming them? I frequently find myself stressing too much about it, especially when shopping for food, thanks. So first of all, let's understand what GMO is because most people don't. It's genetically modified organism, okay? That can mean a lot of different things, but it means that somehow some scientists genetically modified the DNA of the thing, okay? So maybe they went in and genetically modified corn so that it has a natural resistance to some bug, okay? Some parasite or some virus. In and itself, genetically modifying something does not make it automatically harmful, all right? Now, there can be unintended consequences for genetically modifying things, okay? So that's number one. And it is not the natural product that our ancestors have eaten. And so, you know, our bodies may not really consume it in the same way that our bodies have evolved to consume such a thing. You have to understand that none of the shit that we eat is pure anymore, okay? Unless you eat heirloom fruits or vegetables. But really, like if you look at bananas, for instance, okay? There's one type of banana, I forgot the name of it, that basically dominates. It, it's the banana that w when you go to the store, you get this banana. Now there's hundreds of varieties of bananas. You've never eaten any of those. Some of them aren't very sweet at all. Some of them are kind of hard, more like plantains, okay? Some of them are really small, okay? But the, the basic type of banana that we eat is one that has been bred to some degree because of its qualities, and it's not even the, the real version of it, okay? It basically, they've bred different crops in order to produce this banana, okay? Maybe it's genetically modified, maybe not, I don't know. It doesn't really matter, but my, my point is, is that if you look at tomatoes, they're a lot sweeter than they should be, okay? Apples, all of these fruits, vegetables, most of the, of the stuff that we eat, uh, the spinach that we eat does not have the nutrients that it used to have because it's a more resistant crop, whether it's genetically modified or, or not, uh, through selective breeding, okay? All of these crops have been created to be uh, more hardy, to produce higher yields, to be sweeter. From that perspective, all the food that we eat, really in the grocery store, all the fruits and vegetables, it's already, whether it's genetically modified or not, it's already not what our ancestors ate, okay? So, you know, that argument kind of gets thrown out the window. Again, I'm not necessarily saying that that's, that's a good thing. It's not a good thing, okay? For the most part, like, you know, there's more sugar content. There's not as many vitamins and, and, uh, and nutrients in those things. And, you know, it's not how it was in nature, okay? Now, just because something exists in nature doesn't mean that it's the best thing, but it's proved the test of time. When we talk about genetically modified shit, in my opinion, okay, it's, it's the least of our concerns to worry about, all right? I'd be worried more about, okay, the shit that's in processed foods, okay? That's what's really gonna kill you, especially processed meats. That's the shit that is dangerous, okay? And, you know, the processed foods that are on the shelf that have a lot of chemicals in them that have been, you know, that have, for example, that have a lot of refined sugar, okay? Something that we would definitely not get in nature. A lot of people are losing their shit over GMO type of stuff, but then they're eating a bunch of fucking sh refined sugar, okay? Or maybe they're eating cane sugar and they think that that's fine, but it's still, it's, it's, it's still not natural, like eating that much sugar is going to affect your body, okay? It's gonna cause inflammation, it's gonna cause potentially insulin resistance, which could lead to diabetes. There's a lot of bad problems that, that you should be worrying about, more so than the GMO side of it, okay? J just being genetically modified, it doesn't mean shit in itself. That's what, that's what I'm saying here, is it doesn't mean anything. It doesn't mean that's bad, okay? It might be better, it might be more healthy, it might be more nutritious than, than nature, okay? Uh, it might be bad. There might be some in unintended side effects and things that would make it not as good. A lot of the wheat that they say that, you know, the reason why people have gluten intolerance or gluten is a problem today is because the wheat and the gluten in that wheat, because of selective breeding and genetic modification, is different than what our ancestors ate and, and is not as 
as digestible as as it was before, and, and and there's a lot of issues potentially with that. Okay, no one's actually even proven any of this shit. But what I would be concerned about is this is it. This is like the basic thing, right? Okay, you're not going to be able to control for all these variables. But here's kind of what I do, all right, and what I'd recommend: plastics, even if they're BPA free, I try to just avoid it, especially in the microwave. I just use glass as much as possible. So I'm eliminating any of that kind of problems with the possibly estrogens that could leak out of the plastics, okay? So using glass, okay? Number two, I'm eating whole foods mostly. So vegetables, fruits, okay, meats that are unprocessed, all right? The, the, the rawest form that, that I can get them in, okay? Uh, so, it, and, and for the ones that I am buying, okay, that have a skin on them, have, you know, would have been exposed to pesticides, I'm getting the organic, as much as possible so especially you know things like spinach right there's like a list that you can find online of the, the ones that you should get organic but in general i just buy most of the things organic because why the hell not i'm avoiding buying processed meat as much as possible and i'm buying grass fed okay as opposed to grain fed like if i get beef or i'm eating free range chicken uh the eggs make a huge difference right instead of paying two dollars for a dozen eggs i pay nine dollars for a dozen eggs because these are free range chickens that have not been fed the the feed the chicken feed the gra the the grain, okay, uh, so th it actually improves the omega-3 to omega-6 ratio of the eggs. There's a lot of benefits to that, and it doesn't have all the potential chemicals. Same thing with the animals, with the antibiotics and the and the steroids that they inject into these animals and the the sick, uh, you know, disease and all that. Shit. If I'm not eating processed foods, if I'm avoiding refined sugar, that's the that's gonna be make the biggest difference. Okay, if you're doing all of that shit, you're not eating any McDonald's not eating any fucking refined sugar, okay, you're eating whole, then, then maybe now your next level is to look at GMO stuff and say, okay, well, I don't want to eat anything that's GMO, just in case there's some kind of, you know what I mean, that like, people are putting GMO way up the concern chain when they're eating all kinds of other shit that's obviously going to kill them and they're overweight and all of this problem, right? You know, once you've tackled all the other issues, then I'd worry about the GMO. But the GMO itself doesn't mean anything, okay? It just means that it's been genetically modified. By the way, if you haven't already, take the Bulldog Mindset Quiz. Let me see what your Bulldog score is. And leave a comment if you uh, if you want to like fight about GMOs. See ya.